So hello everyone and welcome to my presentation, Build Your Own K3S Ready Operating System Like a Pro. And I'm Rohit and I work as a software engineer at Suze Software Solutions here at Vancouver. So today I'm gonna walk through uh, what is Elemental Toolkit which is a set of tools to manage operating system images, like booting an operating system or upgrading an operating system and so on. And then I'm gonna explain how to uh, build this operating, uh, elemental operating system using the elemental toolkit that we have. And so this elemental toolkit manages the elemental OS, uh, like installing or upgrading or resetting the OS images at your machines. And then I'll show you a demo of how to build this specific elemental operating system using the toolkit and then uh, you know, boot a virtual machine using that operating system. And at the end, I'll give a brief overview of how to manage this uh, elemental OS at your edge locations through Rancher Manager and Elemental Toolkit. So, so what is this Elemental Toolkit? Elemental Toolkit provides a build time and runtime framework in order to boot containers either in virtual machines or cloud or bare metal. So what does this mean? So basically there are two steps involved here. The first one is building a container image based out of a Linux distro. Almost every Linux distro provides a, a operating system, a container operating system like OpenSUSE, Ubuntu or Fedora. And then we add Elemental Toolkit uh, to this Docker file, to this base uh, Linux distro operating base image and then build it. And the result would be an OS operating OS uh, container image with Elemental Toolkit inside it. Obviously, not only just Elemental Toolkit, you can add uh, much more packages inside it. So it's basically a Docker, Docker file. So this is basic Docker stuff. But the interesting part comes here wherein the toolkit would convert this OS container image into a bootable OS container image so that you can boot into your bare metal or cloud or virtual machines. And the toolkit takes an uh, argument that is the cloud init config files. And let's see what this cloud, uh, this cloud init config files is. So what are these cloud init config files? Cloud init config files are like operating system templates where you can define things like, okay, I'm at the wrong, yeah, here. Cloud init is an operating system templates for your machine. Like when you, when you wanna boot uh, your operating system into a virtual machine, you wanna have something pre-installed like your username or create a bunch of usernames and passwords for them or inject your SSH key uh, once you know, the server, the operating system is booted or you want to start some binaries even before the server boot, server is up. So you can use these templates, the config files, uh, and you can, uh, Elemental Toolkit can run these config files at different stages of the boot stages, that is init RMF, RMFS or boot or network or, you know, even upgrade. And here upgrade is a special kit. What do you mean by upgrade? Upgrading is the upgrading of the elemental operating system in your virtual machine. So generally, how does upgrading operating system work? Uh, so when you upgrade, uh, for example, Ubuntu or OpenSUSE, you upgrade the packages each individually. But using elemental toolkit, uh, the upgrade happens you know, by booting into the new bootable container image that you get. So you have a new bootable container operating system image and what Elemental Toolkit does is at the server location is it would, boot, it would disc, disc, uh, discard the currently running operating system image and then boot into the new OCI artifact that you get in. So you might get a doubt here, like how is the data persisted? So for that, I need to explain uh, how Elemental, uh, the layout of Elemental OS. So it contains, the Elemental OS contains these five partitions and let's concentrate on the persistent partition. So you can specify some directories uh, that you can say that these need to be persistent. Like if you're running a single node Kubernetes cluster, the data related to the cluster, uh, you, know, you know, the directories, you can tell that these, need, these are persistent and the, these needs to be in the persistent partition. So when you upgrade or boot into a new operating system, uh, it would not, you know, touch that partition and it would do it in the state partition. There are other partitions as well. Uh, the anatomy of an elemental OS, you can, I, I 
uh, I would uh, recommend you to look more into this, in, into the docs, uh, the links I'll be providing at the end. Okay, so now you might get a feeling that this is very opinionated, like Elemental OS has a specific number of partitions, and this is Elemental Toolkit that's, that's used to boot these images, and the upgrade process, you know, you don't upgrade the packages, but you boot into a con uh, completely new uh, container image. So yes, this is opinionated, but this is very useful in, a, in the cloud native ecosystem. And But it's also important to note that this is not coupled to any Kubernetes. This is just a toolkit to build your operating system images and you know boot and upgrade uh, operating system images at any bare metal location or a virtual machine or, or anything. And it's not tied to any specific Linux distro. And this toolkit is provided as a Golang CLI, and so it's easy to distribute and deploy. And this CLI has the subcommands that is installing the operating system or upgrading, or you can even say if your edge location is not responding, uh, you can just reset the operating system. Uh, and then there's this other command called build ISO, wherein you can convert the you know general Docker image into a bootable Docker image. Uh, so ISO is the installation media using which you can boot your operating system in virtual machines. So here I have a demo wherein I'll be showcasing how to build this Elemental OS using the toolkit. And then I will also create a virtual machine with the OS that we just built. So here, the first step, that is a Docker file, you know, having all the required packages and Elemental Toolkit inside it. So this is the Elemental Toolkit that I'm taking in. And this is the operating system base image, OpenSUSE Leap. I'm using OpenSUSE Leap. You can use anything. And then I'm also having K3S inside it. So K3S is this minimalistic Kubernetes cluster, uh, the smallest possible Kubernetes uh, cluster that you can deploy at your edge locations. And I'm, ha I'm installing some packages that are required for booting, uh, you know, making this container image bootable. And I'm also copying this cloud init config files. As I, tell you, as I told you, cloud init config files are the operating system templates. Like you can uh, you know, tell at various stages of boot to do, to run some scripts or you know, create users or anything. And then uh, Dracut is for you know, automating the boot process. Yep, so I will run this uh, Docker build it's very simple, just Docker file uh, with the right packages and then Docker build. And now I have the image, uh, container image. But the thing to note is this is not bootable in a virtual machine because it doesn't have the required thing. So the, what Elemental Toolkit does is it would convert this container image into a bootable container image. So I have the Elemental CLI and you can see the subcommands build ISO, uh, install the image, uh, upgrade the system or reset the OS. And this is a manifest file that it takes. So for the grub name, so when you are booting it, uh, you need a grub name, and that's derivative installer. You will see this name at the when I'm booting into a new virtual machine, I'm, when I'm using this ISO image to boot into the virtual machine. And this is the cloud uh, init config files, the operating system templates, like. As I told you, at each stage, uh, you can tell, uh, you know, your operating, uh, while the boot process is going on, you can tell uh, the machine to do some things like, you know, uh, for example here, after the init RMF, RMF stage, you can say, set up a custom user. Like, as soon as the uh, operating system is booted, I need a user named Joe, and the password would be Joe. Uh, and also, you can also inject some SSH keys. So as soon as the operating system is up, you can just you know SSH into it. And remember, uh, I told you that you need you need to have some directories that are persistent. So while Elemental Toolkit is upgrading this operating system, uh, you know this partition is not touched, and it, it, the data remains safe.
Yep, uh, here is this interesting part. So as soon as the operating system gets a network, I would tell it to start K3S, the Kubernetes cluster. So now I'm using the Elemental Toolkit build ISO subcommand to convert the container image into a bootable container image. So this is going to take some time, so I'll just skip. Okay, sorry. So you can see uh, it converted the Rohit Sakala elemental demo into uh, an ISO image. And then now I will use this ISO image to create a virtual machine uh, so that this ISO image is booted into it. So I'm using Word install uh, with KVM virtualization and you can see here the CD-ROM is uh, the elemental.iso. So it's starting. Uh, as I told you, that's the grub uh, uh, entry name, derivative install. And this is just booting up. So let me skip this. These are just logs. And you remember we uh, specified username and password in cloud init config file uh, named Joe and the password Joe. So I would use that to SSH into it. So you also remember that we used, uh, you know, after the network stage, we wanted our K3S to be up and running. And so this is the first time I'm doing an SSH into it. So if I do kubectl, uh, you know, get pods, you should have your K3S up and running. So see, you have, I mean, you didn't go, you just have this complete embedded image with everything installed and, you know, all, all the stuff to run, like a complete solution, uh, and you can just directly boot into at your edge location, you'll have everything up and running. So yep, this was uh, the demo. Okay, so what we have seen is uh, we created an elemental OS using elemental toolkit, booted into a virtual machine with, uh, I mean the elemental OS has everything inside it, all the commands to run beforehand, everything. Now. What is this useful for? What is the use case? Imagine you have an edge location where you want to run, you want to run your cloud native app that is a Kubernetes pod uh, at your edge location. So that one important aspect about running about in, at edge, edge is you need to have the smallest footprint possible. So you can achieve that using K3S and Slee Micro Rancher OS image. So K3S is the smallest Kubernetes cluster, like the smallest footprint uh, you can have to create a Kubernetes cluster at your edge location with the operating system Slee Micro Rancher, which is the minimalistic operating system, you know, the basic kernel and the basic packages required to run this K3S. So this is the smallest possible embedded OS with K3S in it, with a Kubernetes pod in it, and then you can run, run that at your edge location. Now there's a problem here. How can you upgrade or manage your Kubernetes pods running at your edge location or your, how can you upgrade the OS uh, at your edge location? So here comes Elemental Stack. So that's possible using Rancher Multi-Cluster Manager. So Rancher Multi-Cluster Manager is you know, a, a software for managing your clusters. You can create multiple clusters, you can tear them out, you can install some things uh, in it using the apps and marketplace. And then for the OS layer, for you know upgrading the OS into a new thing, you have Elemental operator running inside the uh, Rancher Manager that connects with uh, all the Elemental OS, the edge locations that you have uh, that are running Elemental OS. And this Elemental operator will manage the lifecycle of that OS. And this Rancher Manager will manage the lifecycle of your K3S, the smallest Kubernetes cluster that you can have, the pods running inside it. So. This is a complete solution uh, for your edge uh, location, like the smallest uh, you know, footprint that, that is required to run your cloud native apps. Uh, and these can be managed remotely using this uh, elemental stack that you have. 
So, yep, these, uh, so with uh, this I end my talk, but this is just one use case that I have shown you, and this is just single node K3S, clust K3S cluster you have, but uh, you can have more use cases because this is not tied to anything, and it's, it's, it's all, everything that I showed you here is open source, and for the Elemental stack, these are the links that you can go and check out, and for Elemental Toolkit, uh, which is a CLI, uh, these are the links. There. There's a Slack channels as well, where you can go and you know um, ask your questions or doubts. So thank you so much.